Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and everybody loves horses in Minecraft for Xbox and Minecraft for PlayStation. They're a great way to get around, they can jump high, they have a bunch of health, they're just a really cool mob in general. But actually going through the effort of taming them can be quite a big effort because you have to first of all find a saddle, then you have to find the horse themselves, only found in one biome, then you have to actually go through the effort of taming them, which can take like five minutes by itself in some cases, and basically, you know, it's a lot of effort to go through them. So I figured I'd make a quick start guide on how to go from zero to taming a horse as fast as possible. And I let the guys over at T Public know that I was going to make this video. Video, and they're actually nice enough to design me this custom t-shirt uh, for the occasion. So as you can see, it's me riding a horse and then having my diamond shovel and my golden carrot, etc. fall out for me. It's really, really cool. I actually have one myself, as you can see here, and I'm a big fan of this t-shirt. So if you want to check out this t-shirt, they actually just extended their sale on all of my t-shirts. They're now $14 for this weekend, which is a great price t-shirt. As I said, I buy a lot of them, both from Tee Public in general and Buster Tees, the pirate company. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool thing. I buy a lot of these t-shirts, and I'm just saying it's a cool deal that I would like to hear about. So there you go. Check the link in the description if you want to check out some IBX Toycat approved t-shirts. With that said though, let's get straight into how you can tame a horse, and the first step you need to do when you load up a world, if you want to get horses, is try and find an MC village. This is good advice in general, because there's a bunch of wheat, there's a bunch of stuff like that, but uh, if you're trying to find horses, basically uh, an MC village is the most common way to find a saddle. So if your MC village has a blacksmith chest, then good luck, you can just head in there, uh, you can find lots of cool stuff, but one of those things is going to be a saddle. So you can also pick up your diamond, your iron helmets and stuff, uh, but for today we'll just pick up our saddle. If you didn't find one in your blacksmith chest, or you don't have a blacksmith chest, you can always look around for another village. Uh, there's bound to be at least another one in your world. There's usually about two to three villages per 360 or PS3 world, and a lot more on the one on PS4, so just keep looking around for them. Once you've, uh, if you still don't find anything, then each village also has uh, a, a, a butcher that will be able to sell you saddles. So, if you go for enough trades with the butcher, you'll usually end up at saddles. I have it here, but if you just keep trading with them, uh, you know, uh, taking down their wheat, selling it back to them, then you can eventually uh, end up actually having yourself uh, some saddles. So, yeah, just uh, you know, go through their village, steal all their wheat, sell it back to them. It's kind of cruel, but it's also kind of fun at the same time. So, you should be able to get a uh, you know, saddle that way. If you don't want to do that, or you can't because you, you traded all the way through the butcher and he still won't sell your saddle, then what you need to do is look for a desert temple, a jungle temple, or a mob spawn or abandoned mine shop. They're a lot harder to find because if you fi you'll, you'll probably find a desert temple before a village, but if you do not find a, uh, a mob spawner or a uh, you know, abandoned mine shop, but you already have a dime pickaxe, then what I'd recommend doing is getting yourself a nether portal. If you head through the nether, there's so many chests in the nether that one of them is pretty much certain to have the lucky saddle that you're looking for. So once you have finally found your saddle, whether it be an abandoned mine shaft, a village, a mob spawner, wherever you find your saddle, you need to look for a plane spine. Fortunately, this is a super flat creative world, uh, so it, everything is a plane spine. But if you do, if you're not in a super flat world, which I assume you're not, then basically what you're gonna want to do is find a place where it's mostly flat ground. Like it's not perfectly flat like this, but there's a there's a few hills around, but there's no trees in the way. There's no dirt. There's no snow. It's just flat ground. Not much there besides flowers and grass. Once you find those, just keep looking around those areas. Eventually, you'll find yourself one of these lovely beasts right here. Or usually they spawn in groups actually, but you'll find yourself a pack of lovely beasts like these. So once you have found finally found these there is a fastest way to tame them and that is to use golden apples i'm assuming you don't want to do this but if you look here if you just make yourself uh, nine golden apples, or ten is the correct amount, but if you make uh, yourself some golden apples and then feed them all to the horse, uh, your, your chance of actually uh, taming your horse goes way, way up, and you can do it on the first go. That's the fastest way to do it, but it wastes nine or ten golden apples, and that's a lot to waste to save yourself a minute. However, what is worth, uh, you know, saving yourself some time with is going uh, to the village and taking 30, you know, four wheat, because 34 wheat is the exact amount you need to have a 100% chance uh, of getting, you know, a, a horse to be tamed on the first go. So, uh, before, instead of just sitting on that trying to tame him over and over again, taking up to 20 chances. Uh, what you want to do is just spam about 30 wheat on the horse. These each increase the chance by 30%. If you don't have wheat, by the way, you can also, uh, I think I have a little bit of a, uh, yeah, sugar cane farm over there. If you use sugar, then that will also work. But as you can see now, uh, I'm actually going to full whip. If I try and tame a horse, it will work on the first go, because there's a 100% chance. So now once you've done that, you put the saddle on the horse, and then boom, you're ready to ride the horse around forever. So now you've got yourself your horse. It literally is that fast. Obviously, it takes about 10, 20 minutes in the real world, but it's still a lot faster than the hours that you know it can usually take if you don't know what you're looking for. Hopefully, this video did help you out in terms of taming horses really quickly. Uh, hopefully, you learned at least something from the video. If you did, please do like it and let me know. Also, share there if you really liked it. That really helps out too, and subscribe if you're new around here. Those t-shirt sales, uh, it's only on for this weekend, and I'm just saying it's a really cool deal. If you want to check out, you can, and it helps me out quite a bit, uh, because like I said, they just custom designed me a t-shirt, and I thought that was really cool. So, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.